What's up, you two? I'm R2. I want to attempt to show everybody again what I think is going on here and uh, where we think I think the uh, state's been made fundamentally in the uh, generation of electricity. As we've been shown, it uses way more uh, input, requires way more input than we previously had, we've ever had to do. If you take a look at how we generate electricity. This is a this is a DC motor. You can see that there's a magnetic field produced at, on, in opposite sides of the motor. Here's a here's a smaller one that has permanent magnets in it, and they place a permanent magnet on both sides of a uh, copper winded coil. See the coil wound there. When they rotate that, it creates electric current. Almost the same, but opposite of that, we mounted the coils here separately and move rotate the magnet by. And as you can see, it, it creates amperage right by itself. It's set on amperage, by the way. At any rate, what, what what's not been done is the fact that this this magnet is mag it's magnetic on both sides. All magnets are. You have a a, a north and south to each side of the magnet. You see that that's the, that will be the north side of this magnet. The south side of that one faces the north side of that one. If you flip it over though, you got a north side on the other side. There's a magnetic field on both sides of every magnet. And when you look into how we get electricity, we only use one side of every magnet. Because it's been taught to us that the, the electricity is bound in the copper not in the magnet, when in reality it's the magnet that produces the electricity. And if you use both sides of the magnet at the same time, that creates a synchronicity that requires less input by three-fourths. It only takes a fourth the energy to run it with, with it on than it does with the other, just a single half the magnet type generation. And uh, I'd like to show you a little trick, a little uh, demonstration here. This is an induction motor. So it's a fan motor that comes out of a microwave oven. And uh, what happens here is just basic reverse of what we're doing there. So all it does is run backwards. You, you generate electricity by moving the magnet by the copper. You create a, a, a magnetic pulse. It's, sent, it's converted to electricity in, in the particle pretty much the particle wave relationship right here we're looking at is the fact that electricity don't work without magnetism but magnetism works without electricity you can show that here if we we'll take this little motor and hook it to it we'll hook one of them up to a electric current and I, you can see over here is an identical motor that I took the coil off of it placed it on, you know, where the magnets pass through. The same place that the coil is mounted. And you turn that on, and you see they both run. The, the, the one over here has way more torque to it than this one does. And way more torque than the electrics induct, induced. They both produce the same work. Uh, there's no electric charge whatsoever involved in this, whereas we lose a lot of energy when we conduct the, like, the magnetism into electricity. We lose quite a bit. And, and this, this can all, our, our consumption of electricity can be cut literally in half just by redesigning the generator to, to utilize both sides of the magnet. Even in wind generators, I'll show you some pictures here. Uh, even in wind generators, you can look these up. Uh, they're still they're still using half of each magnet. They're only using half of each magnet at a time. And in some cases, they put a half of a magnet on both sides of a coil when they should put a coil on both sides of that magnet. But not only does it, would it create increase output by twice, it, it, it creates a synchronicity that reduces the amount of input by half at least. 
So, uh, you know, overall, it's definitely there. I'm going to redesign this wheel. i got something totally different in mind, so I won't ever see it like that again. <laughs> At any rate, I thought I'd go through that, maybe help everybody see what's going on. It certainly is the uh, way it is. It is what it is. Peace and love. Heads up.